Welcome back to the Natty Daddy Experience. Ooh, 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 here we go again. Just another day in the YSL Rico case. YSL member Rodelius Ryan. I don't even know if I'm saying that name right, bro. What kind of name is that? Now, according to reports, they was uh, transporting him from the jail to the courthouse. He started spitting on the floor, and then he spit in the deputy's face, and that's when the deputies gave him a soft Rodney King beating. Now Ryan's defense team is trying to put in the complaint that the officer just went to him. They saying that their client, Lil Ryan, actually shushed the officer. And when he shushed him, some spit, just a little piece of spit hit his face. And that's all the deputies needed to get that little boy beaten. Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labot says he's standing by his deputy claiming that this defendant was out of control, spitting in the face of his deputy. He says his deputy tried to get him out of that transport van, but that defendant refused to do it. In the meantime, the defendant's uh, attorney is sharing photos with us showing that it shows proof that that deputy crossed the line. He was punched in the head. We'll be filing a formal complaint with the Sheriff's Department, and I hope they do a thorough investigation. I'm hoping the attorney for Rodalius Ryan, a defendant who's standing trial in the YSL Rico case involving hip-hop superstar Young Thug, calling for an independent investigation after she claims a Fulton County Sheriff's deputy assaulted her client Monday morning. In fact, Angela D. Williams says these photos show the cuts and bruises, including the knot above Ryan's left eye. My client said he went because he was upset about something, and they took that as him spitting. When they told him to get out the van, they just grabbed him before he had a chance by his legs, dragged him out. His head hit the van on the on the uh, floor, and they dragged him out some more. He actually hit the sidewalk. But according to an incident report filed this afternoon, Ryan appeared to be the aggressor. While waiting to be transported from the jail to the courthouse, Ryan is accused of spitting on the floor of the van. And when told that he would have to clean it up, investigators say Ryan told them, I'm not cleaning it up, expletive. Then it says he spit in a deputy's face. Deputies claim when they tried to remove him from the van, he stiffened his body and laid out in the back seat, forcing the deputy to get physical, removing him from the van and placing him on the ground. Yeah, and we know this afternoon that, uh, or excuse me, this evening, Ryan will be facing additional charges. Now, this all comes after defense attorneys last week uh, stressed some concern after they claimed that one of the defendants was actually tased several times by deputies. Of course, we've been looking into that as well, and we will keep you posted as jury selection continues in this trial. We are live in downtown Atlanta. Michael Sutton, Channel 2 Action News. Now, this YSL case, it's just been going everywhere. You done had people snitching. You done had people doing drug deals in the court. You done had people pop up on the Zoom on the attorney's laptop, butt booty naked. Ladies and gentlemen, especially gentlemen, what I'm trying to tell you is stay your ass out of jail. It's easy to get in there. It's hard to come out of there. Man, y'all get in the comments. Drop y'all two cents. Let me know what you think. Until the next time, peace.